wanted us to do today is these are all assessment questions that we have given. If you find a really good example for the state, and you want to the district leadership team, we've learned that the DLT has kind of evolved um, throughout the years in, in Grove Court. And this being our first year uh, with the DLT at Grove Court, we kind of took it with the approach that we really want to take a look at achievement both in, in ELA and math. So we asked the principals to pick a teacher, an ELA teacher and a math teacher from a, grades three through a high school tested area and, and invite them to be on the DLT so we can really start looking at our, our grade level content, um, how does that align with what the state is asking. And so if, if, you, if you think that, then you put, this really isn't the standard. So for like this, this is a fourth grade student. I'm Carol Morbitzer. I'm the Director of Instruction and Achievement. I started with Grove Court in June. This is my 29th year in education. I'm Mike Morbitzer. I've been at Grove Court since May. I've been in education for 30 years. I, I'm the Director of Innovation and Accountability, and, and I am one half of the directors making up the Office of Teaching and Learning. What I look at every single day is, uh, is there an innovative way that we can do programming and also a new way to look at the data that we have and a different way of doing things. And part of my job is to make sure that I'm looking at how systems work or how they need to be improved. And that's been uh, most of my work for the past several months here at Groveport. The uh, accountability part of, of my title is very apt for me because I've always been concerned about how efficiently are we working, how do we know that things are working well, and then what can we do to change the system so that it does work. As the Director of Instruction and Achievement, um, I think the word instruction is key. Uh, there, there's nothing more important in a school district than the instruction that's happening in our classrooms. And so as the Director of Instruction and Achievement is helping teachers, um, helping building administrators to make sure that that instruction matches the grade level content yeah, so that we ultimately that see our students achieve. Content. So we're looking at elementaries as one, um, because we know we have transient population, not just within our district, but we are out going in and out of the district, but from building to building. So I think that would be so helpful for you guys if we had common assessment that we feel is strong, but I think it, it, it's, we need to talk about it. Part of our work, a big part of our work with building a professional learning community here is focusing on the ranked work. And so right now is improving English language arts and math. These are areas that need improvement. And today what I saw from our group uh, especially the ELA group, I know you had the same with math, is that there are teachers who are absolutely committed to acknowledging where we are and where we aspire to be. And what I heard from those teachers today is that where we aspire to be is something that we're all proud of. Students, parents, teachers, the entire community. Mike and I have been in over 100 classrooms. And as we've watched lessons, as we've talked to teachers, one of the things that really stands out to me um, is the teachers are asking for an ELA or a reading curriculum. Um, I, I guess I was kind of shocked when uh, we got here and they didn't have one. It's something that we are hearing that teachers want because they're pulling from so many resources. Um, there's inconsistencies, but not it's not their fault. It's just each teacher is pulling from different resources. They're collaborating maybe among grade levels, but it looks different um, from building to building. We saw six different elementary schools doing six different things. And so They're, the idea that let's take a look at an ELA reading curriculum and get us on the same page. So a kid at Asbury is doing the exact same thing that the kid at Madison is doing. You know, so when a student moves from one elementary to another elementary in our district, they're getting the same content, um, approximately the same time. But I think that's a need that we've really um, that really caught our attention in just these first six months of school. Horizontal uh, alignment, the vertical alignment. We have to look at this as if we are one school building, one elementary school. We have six elementary schools. We have to have, and it's among the six elementary school buildings, we have to have those teachers working together. We have to have the same in the middle schools so that when we send students to the high school, there's a comprehensive curriculum that they have followed, that they have foundation. We need to make sure common assessments will do this to us, will help us, 
But teachers working together, understanding what the expectations are for each level, that will help those students who, for whatever reason, have to move from building to building. We have to create opportunities for them to work together in person, online. We have to get them to meet. And there has to be some agreement on what the curriculum is. One impressive thing that happened today with the ELA group is that they focused on, on curriculum. We had a great discussion about that. We even started investigating some English uh, language arts curricula. Um, what they talked about, though, they said, at the same time that we're doing this, we have to realize the basic foundational principle that we work from has to be our standards. One of the teachers even pulled his standards set out with a binder, and he started talking about that, and he explained to the others, this is at the heart of everything that we do. Text. Why does this standard go with literature text? And how are they different? Because it's pretty much the same standard. So what is this tied to in literature? And what are the differences? What came out of the, the math meeting today was we do have a curriculum. Uh, the teachers are using it. But are we always using and going back and looking at those state release items, uh, the state standards, and making certain that those are truly what's guiding us? The, the curriculum is definitely the resource, and it keeps us all on the same page. But there's never going to be a curriculum that truly matches what Ohio is asking. And so that's why we constantly have to go back to the Ohio standards, the released items on, in tested areas, because we've got to supplement into that curriculum because it's never going to meet the level of what Ohio is asking. I would put our teachers up against any district. Absolutely. And it breaks my heart because we work so hard. We work so hard. People here care. you got to want to teach and grow for it. It's like there are pieces and parts that um, don't have that end goal of creating or helping to support the development of every child um, to be their very best, whatever their outcome is for, you know, what well, they hope. I was most impressed with was when they were having the conversations that there was a, at least an hour long session where I explained to them, I'm not going to interrupt you. I want to hear from you. I want to listen to you. I don't want to then try to add something onto what you're saying and summarize it or take it a different direction or try to attempt some profound comment on what you're doing. I wanted them to know that I'm listening to them, that I hear them and that they have a real voice in what we do in, in teaching and learning in this district. Common assessment kept coming back up, but the thing that stood out to me the most was um, one of the one of the members of the the DLT said that you know we've done this before, but we have to do the right work. We we've we've done it before, but she said that the questions were bad. The questions weren't um, to the 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 rigor of what the state asked, and so that really stood out to me. That she said if we're going to do it, we need to do it right. We have to take that input from people who have been here because they were here when, the, when it was done in the past. Okay, we have one last piece we'd like to, to go over. On your agenda, and tell me how the root cause With the DLT, process. we're not trying to There's keep what we're doing with the DLT um, only in, in that room when we're working. You know, we put the agenda on our, our teaching and learning page on the website, and we want them to go back to their teams, take what we did today, and go back to their teams and work with them other teachers then in the district will see, hey, I have a concern, I have a question, or I have an idea. Let's take that to someone that's on the DLT for them to go back and, to, and, and then for us to discuss it here when we meet monthly. They're not just welcome here today, the teachers who participated. Teachers are welcome here every single day. I made that point with them. If you have a question, talk to your principal, let them know that you're on talk with us about it, but call us, text us, come on over and talk with us. A lot of the things that are our current concerns would be less concerning if we actually had a conversation about it. We want everyone to go to our Teach and Learning webpage on the Grove or Madison Local School District website. On there, you're gonna find some more information about us and our team. I want you to know exactly who is in the Office of Teaching and Learning and what each of us do. Mm -hmm. I also want everyone to see in the corner of our page, the upper right-hand corner, is our mission statement. A lot of times people spend a lot of time on mission statements. Sometimes they're, they can spend months or an entire year trying to craft a mission statement. It's really not that difficult. Our mission statement is stated on there, and it is simply, we want to do everything we can to help students learn. That's it. And so everything we do is with that intention. Also on that page, we talk about some current topics. Um, we've started this several months ago as the school year started, and right in the middle of the page, you'll see we're talking about. And then we have a topic there, and we address some of the concerns that people are, are bringing up about something related to the curriculum, related to teaching and learning, related to what's going on in our classrooms or in our, in our design. So again, everyone should go to that Office of Teaching and Learning page on our website 
and to learn about us, our team, our mission is very clear, and especially the current events that are happening, some commentary on what's actually happening right now.